let us solve one more problem. Find the lengths of the normal and subnormal at a point on the curve y is equal to a by 2 times e power x by a plus e power minus x by a. See just if you observe this problem, this is in the form of e power x plus e power minus x by 2 that is nothing but the one of the hyperbolic functions. So that is cos hx. So e power x by a plus e power minus x by, by 2 can be written as cos h of x by a. So that means instead of x e power x by a plus e power minus x by 2, we need to substitute cos h of x by a. Then if you differentiate it, you get dy by dx. So if you put p x1 comma y1, slope of the tangent can be obtained. After getting slope of the tangent, easily we can find out length of normal as well as subnormal we can find out. So let us proceed for the solution. given equation to the curve. To the curve is y is equal to a by 2 times e power x by a plus e power minus x by a. So for our convenience, it can be rewritten as a times e power x by a plus e power minus x by a by 2. So in the place of this, we can replace cos h of x by a. So a times cos cos h of x by a, say equation 1, okay. Let p x1 comma y1 be any point on 1, on equation 1 that means. It will satisfy this one, we get y1 for a cos h of x1 by a. Okay. Now let us find out slope of the tangent at x1 comma y1. Consider y is equal to a times cos h of x by a. Differentiate with respect to x. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So directly we can find out dy by dx dy by dx is equal to a times d by dx of cos h of x by a. Okay. What is the derivative of cos hx? That is sin hx, not minus sin hx. The derivative of cos x is circular function means minus sin x. But whereas in the case of derivative of cos hx is simply positive sin hx only. So that means here we get a times sin h of x by a and x by a differentiation should be multiplied. That is 1 by a constant x differentiation 1. So we get 1 by a. Now what happens? A, a gets cancelled. This is sin h of x by a. This is dy by dx. Now let us find out slope of the tangent. Slope of the tangent. Equals to m 
dy by dx at p x1 comma y1 okay so very simple here x is replaced by x1 we get in terms of sin hyperbolic function only sin h of x1 by a now we need to find out length of the normal now length of the normal is equal to so we need to recall the formula for length of the normal so that is nothing but modulus of y1 root of 1 plus m square so now y1 means this one we have to replace m is we need to replace sin h of x1 by a so now this becomes modulus of a cos h of x1 by a root of 1 plus m square m square means sin h square x1 by a sin h square x1 by a so this is modulus in hyperbolic function we have important formula what is the important formula means 1 plus sin h square theta equals to cos h square theta this is the formula now easily you will expect the root of 1 plus sin h square theta what does it mean that is cos h theta so what shall we replace here yes we need to replace cos h of x by a so this equals to now mod a times cos h of x1 by a this value equals to cos h of x1 by a cos h of x1 by a multiplied by cos h of x1 by a that is cos h square of x1 by a so this equals to a times cos h square x1 by a this is the length of the normal now let us find out length of the subnormal or subnormal so now subnormal subnormal equals to formula mod y1 into m so what we have substituted y1 is a cos h of x1 by a so a cos h of x1 by a into m c m stands for sin h of x1 by a so you can keep like this otherwise you can simplify further also multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 so this can be written like this now a by 2 this we can write now 2 times sin h of x1 by a and cos h of x1 by a so we have one important formula we have discussed in hyperbolic functions so that we need to recall now so we have one formula 2 sin h theta cos h theta equal to sin h of 2 theta so using this we can replace this value so this equal to mod of a by 2 into sin h of 2 times x1 by a so this is the length of the subnormal so in this way we can find out length of the normal and length of the subnormal to the given curve
let us solve one more problem. Find the value of k so that the length of the subnormal at any point on the curve y equals to a to the power of 1 minus k times x to the power of k is constant. So that means if the length of the normal is constant, now we need to find out the value of k. At what values of k, the length of the subnormal at any point to this curve is constant. The k value we need to evaluate. Suppose or providing the length of the normal is constant. So that means first we need to find out length of the here subnormal. So let us proceed for the solution. Given equation to the curve to the curve y equals to a to the power of 1 minus k into x to the power of k say equation 1. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x dy by dx is equal to this a to the power of 1 minus k is constant only. So, let us take out common a to the power of 1 minus k and d by dx of x to the power of k this equals to a to the power of 1 minus k derivative of x to the power of k is k times x to the power of k minus 1 this is equal to k into a to the power of 1 minus k x to the power of k minus 1 so this is the dy by dx here actually directly we can proceed otherwise we can say p of x1 comma y1 be any point on the curve also we can do it but let us do directly so here dy by dx or m we can say that no problem dy by dx instead of so this y1 stands for this y value only a to the power of 1 minus k x to the power of k now length of or you can say subnormal subnormal is actually mod of y1 into m or directly we can write y1 means y m means dy by dx y into dy by dx so this equal to what does stand for y this one let it be replaced now we get a to the power of 1 minus k x to the power of k into dy by dx. So, dy by dx means this one k times a to the power of 1 minus k into x to the power of k minus 1 correct. So, now we can simplify this to a to the power of 1 minus k multiplied by k times a to the power of 1 minus k after that we need to multiply this two. So, this can be written x to the power of k times a to the power of 1 minus k whole square into x to the power of a to the power of m into a to the power of n a to the power of m plus n formula. So, we can write k plus k minus 1. So, this we can write k into a to the power of 2 minus 2k this is x to the power of 2k minus 1. But according to the problem, the subnormal must be constant. Constant means it must be independent of x. As it is independent of x, here x to the power of power must be equal to 0. That means 2k minus 1 must be 0. Then it becomes the independent of x. So, in order to make it independent of x, we need to equal the x power to 0.
So, according to the problem, according to the problem, subnormal is independent of x. independent of x. So, it becomes if and only if. So, that implies the 2 k minus 1 must be 0. So, 2 k is equal to 1. What will be the k value? 1 by 2. So, this is the answer k is equal to 1 by 2.